the summer months are just soaring straight by, aren't they? We've been playing Animal Crossing, got two major updates, but I can taste the crispy apples of fall and the new stuff that is coming soon. I mean, the days are getting shorter. T-shirt weather is turning into hoodie weather, which is probably the coolest time of year. I mean it both ways, like literally and figuratively. And I'm so pumped for what is gonna happen to Animal Crossing New Horizons. And today, we're talking all about it. It's your most wanted updates, our weekly show where we get to hear the ideas that would make this game amazing, including a new NPC that would affect our waterways. Yes, those ponds and rivers that are suspiciously empty. And I think you're gonna love what we got going on here. So what's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. I'm donning the Cap de Toad. Not the toad that you know from Nintendo, but a different kind of toad. One who says, huh, where's Brewster? And then I got this super sick Kirby sweater that I wish I had in real life. It would be fantastic. He's just sitting straight on top of the star, looking so innocent and awesome and amazing. And like, please, Animal Crossing, deliver on these dream scenarios. Get it, Kirby Dreamland dream scenarios. Make sure to submit your dreams on our Discord server, Switch Strong. That's where we pull these fantastic ideas, and you can be a part of it, too. We've got the best blimp in the game. Flying on by, looking down from the sky, saying, my oh my, we got three gluten-free cookies, hugs for everybody, friendship abound, and we can hook you up with your favorite villager. Plus, you get featured in one of these videos. Pretty sweet deal. Link in the description down below. Go join up if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for the updates. Are they coming? I hope they are. Some of these are fantastic. You guys send them in, and I love them. We're going to get straight into it. No messing around. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? You better subscribe. Otherwise, my toad is going to come touch you. And from all I've been told, toads are pretty slimy and pretty gross. If you ever picked one up, if you've ever held it for a long time, I'm not sure it is the afternoon you are seeking. So subscribe, smash that like button if you're excited for new stuff coming AC, and let me know in the comments down below which of these features you want most. We're kicking it off with Sir Dumpling who talks about an update to villager hunting, which I've talked about a ton, you know, making sure we could go from island to island instead of island back to airport, back to island, back to airport. It's annoying, but what I love that he says is, I'd like Pascal to turn into a character like Flicker CJ. He could run diving tourneys and reward you with new mermaid stuff. You would be able to sell sea creatures to him for an increased price and make sea creature models, which I love. And now I'm picturing sea creature and mermaid models spliced into one thing. And like, they're like really sexy sea creatures models. Get it? No? Too much? Not okay? Maybe okay? Weird? You don't want to see an anemone dressed as a mermaid? That's got to be some weird niche of the internet. I don't want to go there, but I do want to go to this idea of Fleck and CJ Pascal being the trio of awesome bug fish creature events. Yes, I'm kind of bored of the bug offs and the fishing tourneys because the prizes are the same. So if they don't want to interject new prizes to Flick or CJ, they could just give new prizes to Pascal and a new diving tourney. And diving tourneys would be really fun. Everyone could participate, and it would create a third pillar of events for us to participate in with our friends. Those competitions get so much sweeter when you can enjoy them together. So I love that idea. Evil Mona Lisa has been showing up at the streams lately and uh, it's kind of freaking me out. So you guys should probably come as well. We're streaming Friday and Sunday this weekend. So please come help defend against Evil Mona Lisa. I don't know what kind of thing she's got cooking up, but uh, it can't be good. What is good though is Saint Leona who says, I've read somewhere that Brewster would probably be replaced as the barista. Wait, what? Huh? Don't even rewind. Don't even say that to me. Brewster replaced? You can't. You can't do that to me. I will have to put on my, my snooty blockers and turn them into idea blockers because I cannot cope with no Brewster. I'm hoping this is a false rumor. It's got to be, right? Brewster being replaced, but I like a part of her idea. It says being replaced somewhat like Joan the Board of Daisy May, and Brewster would be replaced by someone named Cream, his niece, his apprentice. I would love to see Cream, but I would also love to see Brewster flying in and out of the island and giving his niece a pat on the back. Well, at least she's a fan of Brewster as well, so I can remove the blockage. I like the idea of bringing in Cream, Brewster and Cream. That's a really brilliant naming convention. I like that. Like the cream for your coffee. Brewster brews it up. Little swell little baby pigeon rocking and rolling with the big king Brewster, but you can't take Brewster away. Otherwise, I will, um, I will quit the game. If Brewster is replaced, I will quit the game. Mark my words. I, I promise. If Brewster is, if they replace the roost and they put this cream character, I'm done. I'm out. But I'll, I'll take both of them. But if it's one and not the one, not going to be good. Not going to be good. 
My dude, Epic Gamer 49 says, I would like the ability to place items in. Ooh, leaf bug. Ability. Give me a little chill, honestly. The ability to place items in water and also the ability to swim in rivers and ponds. And you're telling me, dude, I've talked about this countless times. No one's brought it up for a while, so I wanted to touch on it because we do need more in our ponds and rivers. We need more. We need floaties shaped like a duck, okay? We need water slides. We need little lily pads that we can put items on so that we can deck out our spaces filled with liquid and make them beautiful too. Look, the ocean is now filled with sea creatures swimming, bubbles, and a little otter named Pascal. How can we make our rivers and our ponds better? Well, that combines my brain with Tappan Quinn, who says, I would love to see Dr. Shrunk return. Do you know who Dr. Shrunk is? He's an axolotl. Axolotl? Axolotl? It's one of those creepy creatures that kind of looks like if a cheese puff came to life and sprouted antenna. You know what I'm talking about? Axolotl? Okay. Anyhow, I would love to see Dr. Shrunk return. I know his jokes weren't the greatest, but his bad puns did give the game a little more cute humor. Plus, he could teach us dances. And yes, Dr. Shrunk was an expression expert, which we now get from all of our villagers. He also was a laugh king, and I would love to learn some jokes from Dr. Shrunk. You know, people say KK looks a little lonely as he sits there and sings his tunes. Dr. Shrunk could come support him like he did at Club LOL and give some jokes, but I think after a career of dancing, joking around, teaching people expressions, and maybe even therapy, he could have been a counselor. Shrunk, shrink, you get what I'm saying? I think it's time for Dr. Shrunk to retire to the waterways. I think Dr. Shrunk should come back to the game, and yes, he can teach us jokes as he floats down our rivers and streams. This is the dude that allows us to gain access to items that are put inside our waterways. DIY and placeables. He's kind of the kicks of kicking back. He floats down our rivers and our ponds and finally opens up these sections to awesome freaking self-expression and an opportunity to float down them. He could give us our first little floaty, our first little inner tube, and it would be awesome. Imagine all your villagers cutely floating down the river. Okay, three, two, one, go. All your villagers. Judy, Marshall, Diana, Eric, they're all floating beautifully down the river. You're smiling, you're laughing. It's amazing. You love it so much. It's the best thing that they've had at Animal Crossing. It's great. It's amazing. Okay, wake up. Wasn't that a beautiful dream? You loved it? You loved it a lot, didn't you? Okay, this is what we need to have happen. So I am now petitioning for Dr. Shrunk to return with Brewster and bring a little bit of love to the waterways. They deserve it. And I really, really think that's one thing that ACNH can do to expand the creativity of our islands in an awesome way. But we ain't done, hun, no. Flick might be down there trying to find bugs, but I'm still searching for your epic updates. Animal Crossing Cam says, I think it'd be cool if the megaphone was brought back. Now, it would be a little odd because the, oh, I forgot that I have static. Yes. When you remember that you have the coolest villagers ever. Got me some static. What's up, static? Your voice betrays your beautiful face, but I still love you and your patterns. Also, my dude, bam. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And thank you, Animal Crossing Cam. It still rhymes. I didn't even plan that. Boom, mind blown. Megaphone. So in the 3DS game, uh, in New Leaf, you would call into the, the microphone slot and be like, hey, bam. And then bam would, the little text bubble would, would pop up and you would see where bam was. Now, if they were in a building or something like that, it did not work. Or if you were too close, it would kind of spook them. But the megaphone is a great way to identify your villagers. It would help me so much when I'm bubble hunting, looking for somebody like a specific character, like, hey, Sherb, can you go? Or goodness gracious, Snooty, get off my island! I can know where they are at all times and keep track on them, keep tabs on them, make sure that nobody's doing anything dangerous. Now, I know that finding your villagers is half the fun of them roaming around, but I do think a special way to identify the villagers and where they're at Especially as the game expands and they can continue to add new features and continue to maybe hopefully add new buildings and maybe even add expansions would be awesome. So I'm all for the megaphone. I'd like to see it brought back. I don't know if we can speak into our switch. There's no microphone, but uh, I'm sure we can make it work somehow. Either type it in or just like highlight their name. It could be like a new app on the phone. The megaphone app. Solve the problem for you. Now speaking of NPCs and villagers, uh, 
Gabby says, I want more NPC interaction. And I didn't ever think about this, so I think this is a really good idea, Gabby. She talks about how getting Sable to open up slowly was so fun, and wishes that we could have more of that with some of the other NPCs. She says, for example, maybe after you do enough sea sport challenges, CJ could start telling you about himself, or when Celeste visits, she could tell you funny stories about her and Blathers growing up. Now, those are awesome ideas, but I'd also like to know why Flick is so darn depressed. The dude is awesome, he's got a great character design, and he seems so miserable with life. And I'd love to know why. CJ, Flick, what are your troubles? I mean, CJ seems to be happy, but maybe he's even hiding something behind that smiley exterior. At the very least, I'd love to know why Flick has that frown on. And I like getting bedtime stories from Celeste. I think that's a brilliant idea. It is a really cool lore-based activity or task to open up Sable. And we got a lot of that as the game began, but as soon as you unlock KK, that sort of leaves. And then once you identify with Sable, it's kind of over. I think there needs to be more of that put in, and I'm all for it, Gabby. It's a great idea. Tia's over here telling me her idea is the exact same as Wallflower Writer, who says, as the Able Sisters, there should be a check mark or something next to items you already have, because I can't remember, and it's a pain to have to leave and check. Now, this was shown off and discussed in the latest fan trailer from Nick Ha, who's an amazing dude. He put out a quality of life trailer a few months back. He got it narrated, and it looked legit. He just dropped a new one. We covered it the other day. Check it out. I'll put a link in the description down below. And they talked just about that. They talked about getting a check mark so you know what items you purchased, what clothing you purchased, and it makes your bells be used better because now you're not going to double dip. You're not going to accidentally take up two storage slots. Or if you're looking for more colors, you're like, okay, I got the orange and I got the blue, but I don't have the gray. And that would really be helpful in the dressing room. And Tia agrees because Tia's fashionable. Look at her. But she is kind of ready for a new apron. She's been wearing the same one. It has a lot of sticky honey stains. A lot of honey in my tea. I love it that way. It's got to be sweet. XX oof. XX says, hey, Zach, I think it would be really cool. Hi, by the way. To wear jewelry and there could be a new NPC selling it on Monday and Wednesday. It would be really cute that your villagers would wear necklaces and bracelets and maybe gift them to you. I like that. A new plaza expert. All right, so we got Kicks. We got LaBelle, who I like to call Label now because kind of lame she doesn't actually look at your outfit did you know this? she's not actually looking at it it's all just a mirage in your mind but a new person leaf stands there and does the exact same thing so i'm fine sacrificing a leaf slot for this jewelry salesperson and perhaps shampoodle could come back and help out with that because uh shampoodle is not really a thing anymore since we can go just change our hair in the mirror so maybe they could bring back that little pup and work it out that way where she sells you jewelry. I think that would be the perfect inclusion. And I like the idea of getting necklaces and rings and just more customization. I'm always for that. I'm up for the new hairstyle that is currently being petitioned on change.org. I want more hairstyle variety and I want more self-expressive customization for our characters. So bring in jewelry. Oof, that's a fantastic idea. As we wind this video down and take a seat, our last idea comes from George Varney and it's about taking a seat. What I would love most to have on AC is the ability to sit down on the ground with my islanders. It's so adorable when they sit under a tree or by the water. I want to be able to sit with them. The L button isn't in use, so you could use that for the sit button. L does nothing. I'm pressing it right now. L, 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 L. Take the L, sit down, and relax. I mean, sometimes that could be a W because you get to sit with your villagers as they lick a popsicle, eat a donut, or read a book, and you could sit with them. Imagine the cool photography that we could create now that they've removed the UI from the camera, you could just sit right on down, hang out. Now they would have to add extra animations like folding your legs or crossing your knees or something of that sort, bending down. But I love the different animations of this game. I think they're so cute and so adorable. Like the animation where you jump up to grab something off a shelf, it's amazing. And the new diving animations, I love all of them. So a sit down animation, it'd be so cute. And this game is all about creating the cutest scenarios physically possible, so Nintendo get on some of this stuff. I mean, we do need Dr. Shrunk to come back and float on down so that we can access water items. And we do need to bring the megaphone back so we can identify where our villagers are at. And we absolutely need some doggy sold jewelry to dot our bodies with gold, silver, rose gold, and maybe even a little technicolor ruby sapphire gemstone joy. And then you could look back at some of our past videos where we talked about digging up gems and those could be used to craft the jewelry and you could make legendary items like special engagement rings and then go oh, it's it's amazing your ideas are amazing you are amazing make sure to join the discord if you haven't already submit your ideas there's a special forum on switch strong where you can submit all your wanted updates and i pull from that every week 
to create these videos. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Appreciate you all so much. Members, special shout out. I'll see you guys on the streams Friday and Sunday. Defend against evil Mona Lisa, please. Check out our merch store. And until next time, everybody, have a fantastic day. I love you so much. Hope you're staying safe, staying healthy, staying smart out there. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. Look in the mirror and say, I'm awesome. I love myself. You'll be surprised how much of a difference that makes. And then give somebody a hug. Sharing love is a great way to get some back. And we all need a little more of that right now. So thanks again, everybody. Have a fantastic day. For myself, Bam, Static, and all these great ideas, Switch Force, out.